Um, sir, just talking about Thomas Edison, when he was a young boy, when he dropped out of school, um, when he was eight, they moved to Port Huron, Michigan. And um, he was in school and the teacher called him Adelbrain because when you were a kid, basically, back in the day, you learned to basically just do what you were told, read out the book, write everything down. But Thomas Edison always liked to ask the questions like where, why, why did the wind blow, why is the sky blue, stuff like that. The teacher didn't really respond well to this, so the teacher actually told his mother he was adult-brained. It was actually the uh, term she used. Upon hearing this, his mother wasn't too happy with that, immediately pulled him out of school and basically homeschooled him himself. Now, I always like to talk about Thomas Edison. He, when he was a 10-year-old boy, he was basically spending his pocket change and his chore money to buy chemicals and stuff like that, to be doing chemical reactions in his bedroom at his parents' house. When I was 10 years old, I was riding my bicycle and kind of collecting like baseball cards. This guy was basically destined for greatness from the beginning and was always doing trial and error, doing different experiments on his own. And um, although he didn't have a formal education, his mother definitely made sure that he had the tools to kind of experiment, trial and error, and teach himself. It's a 1905 phonograph. 